Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself. I'm back today and I'm today we are going to discuss my top five books that I believe if I was going to start over, I would read. So if all my symptoms came back, if I had to start from the beginning, there's way more than five, okay? I've read thousands and thousands and so many have been instrumental in helping me that it's hard to narrow down to five, but I think that you need these five categories and these five sort of subjects. So I'm breaking it down like this because I believe that if these were the only five healing books that you could have and you would just read these five over and over and over, that you could heal yourself. Now saying that, there are many other books that fall within these genre of books that you could substitute one book out for the other. It's not necessarily this particular book, but I'm picking a book that encompasses like an umbrella. I'm giving you five umbrella books, and if you read from these categories, then you're gonna heal, okay? So let's get into it. So obviously one genre or one umbrella of books that we're gonna wanna read is about diet, okay? So you definitely need a diet book. There's so many that I didn't know which ones to put in, frankly, because there's so many great books about diet and physical health and physical healing that includes detox, you know, what foods to eat, sensitivities, all of these different things that you can look at to heal. So it is actually really interesting me picking these books because I'm surprising even myself. I have my favorites, favorite books that I've read over and over, uh, books that I love more than the books that I'm, I'm pointing out to you today. But I am surprising with myself with these picks because I think I want to give you the umbrella of healing. And so it's really important that it's not a specific book. It's not a specific protocol. It's not a specific thing that you need to do. You need to have the umbrella of healing in all these categories for this to work, okay? So the first category is food and detox and lifestyle and environment. And um, one of the books that I am going to recommend is by Chris Wark called Chris Beat Cancer. Okay, so I am not a vegan. Chris is a vegan. Chris beats and beat cancer and suggests that people go on a vegan diet, a plant-based diet. Everything is plant-based in Chris's world um, where he, uh, he and many, many other people have reversed cancers by going plant-based. So this is not uh, me even agreeing with Chris, um, who I just think is a great... Uh, you know, I've never met him, but I just, I, I have watched his videos. I've listened to his site. I've listened to all his interviews. I've uh, read all of his stuff. And he is somebody that I think that you should, or anybody else in the vegan community, somebody who understands healing at a fundamental level. Okay, that we need to eat a lot of plants in our diet. That nutrition and the abundance of vitamins and minerals and, um, cancer fighting properties in food and just disease fighting properties in food in general come from plants. Chris is your guy. The thing that I like about Chris's book is that it's not about food. Okay. This is not a book about necessarily about food. Okay. It's about your choices. It's about taking responsibility of your health, which is my number one thing. It's take responsibility for your health. You got yourself into this position and now you need to get yourself out of this position. Why not going the medical route is an important thing to consider. So not only when we're talking about cancer, but all diseases, it's important not just to take the doctor's word at face value, right? To really do your own research, to become your own health and healing champion to become the CEO of your health, your own health, which is something that I advocate strongly for. So this book really puts a lot of things into perspective, right? He is also going to talk about food. He's also going to talk about things like turmeric and cayenne pepper and garlic and oregano and all kinds of great things in this book that are like cancer fighting foods. And these are not just cancer fighting foods, these are disease fighting foods. So I agree with all of these foods and I definitely think that they should be in your protocols. He's gonna talk about how healing comes from a plant-based diet. I believe that you should eat a lot of greens, vegetables, fruit. You should really get the properties and you should make sure that you are getting enough and heavy, heavy, extreme doses of 
blended smoothies, soups, juices, right? You really wanna be getting all the benefits from these plant foods. Uh, if I love when Chris explains about his gigantic salad. He's gonna talk about smoothies. He's gonna talk about a lot of things that I talk about, okay? So even though I'm not a vegan and even though I don't recommend going only plant-based, I believe that going but getting enough fruits and vegetables in your diet, like to the extreme, like we really want to make sure how many greens are we getting in our diet? How much vegetables are we getting in our diet? What about the colors? How many colorful foods or disease fighting foods do we have in our diet? And these come from plants, okay? He's gonna talk about building a new body through food, which is super important. And then he's gonna touch a little bit on detox, which is really important, right? about diluting, like we wanna do enemas, we wanna drink a lot of water, we want to get rid of things. Now he talks a lot about meat and dairy in this book and I do not agree with that, that we need to remove that, but he is gonna talk about getting rid of things like chemicals from your body and making sure that your skincare is, and, and all the products that you use in your house and all the things that you can do to get things that are harmful out of your body, okay? And then he's gonna touch on a little bit of spiritual healing, right? Healing your heart, healing your insides, which is, which is really important. So this is an important book. This book is an important book because it's an umbrella healing book. It really goes through, you know, take your health into your own hands, make sure you're eating the right foods, like you want food to be working for you. Detox what you can get, eliminate anything that's causing your stress and toxicity in your body, and then healing is an inside job. So this book is super important. There is so many books in the category of this. I could have picked any of them, but I'm picking this one because I like the way Chris makes it simple. He keeps, he keeps it simple. And I think that, yes, there's tons of other books like this. Yes, there's hundreds on my bookshelf like this, but this is an important book. It's simple. It has everything in there. We don't need to read a hundred or a thousand books on this topic. We just need to read one or two. This is one of the books. Okay. So following that up, I want to have one more. I couldn't decide. So I'm going to hold up both of these. Okay. One is nutrition and physical degeneration. And one is the gut and psychology syndrome, the GAPS book, okay? So this one is by Weston A. Price. And it's so funny that I follow up the recommendation by Chris by telling you, you definitely need animal products in your diet. So although you want fruits and vegetables to be working for you and the powerhouse of your diet, you definitely do not want to forego animal products and these are grass-fed, grass-finished, organic animal products. This is not farm-fed. I am not talking about anything that comes from the factory. I am talking about the real deal, right? The, the thing like bison that was grazing in the field. I'm talking about the wild-caught animal products that have the healthy fats, the healthy profile of amino acids in them, and things that you definitely need from your body. If you read this book, you will understand that while plants are important, we don't want to get into things like grains and foods. We want to have plants like fruit, vegetables, and greens, and then we want to have meat and animal products, right? We are really wanting to make sure that we get enough vitamin D and all the vitamins that we can only really truly get, okay? So some of these pictures in these books are astonishing and stunning, and I'll just go through them. Like the profile of the faces and the teeth of generations of people who used to eat animal products and then switched to grain are stunning. But this is a long, heavy read. So the reason I just didn't recommend this book is because most people aren't gonna read it. So although important, although stunning, um, I am putting this book on top of it as a book that I would like you to read instead. So this is the GAPS book by Natasha McCampbell McBride. And this is such an important book because it takes the information from Weston A. Price and it pairs it down into a diet of healing. And she explains why 
even though we need the powerhouse that Chris is talking about from diet and everything else that Chris goes into. This is like, we're not just cleansing. A lot of things want to do with cancer, we're cleansing, we're cleansing, we're detoxing, we're really getting rid of that. But when we're restoring and we're regenerating and we're regenerating the nerves, we're regenerating anything that is degenerating in the body, right? We really wanna look at animal products. Now this book goes into not only diet and not only um, a lot of vegetables are in this diet, but meats and meat stock and bone broth and the fats, right? The high fat, fatty um, tallow and lard and we're gonna wanna get the fatty fish. It's going to explain why. Why it's so important to regeneration. Why it's so important to your mental state. Why it's so important to growing and healing and really regenerating cellular damage, okay? So it is so funny. It's so funny to me that I put these two books like back to back. But when you read them, you will understand why. And the reason why I put them both in here is because they're both from such different camps that I think you need to read them both. Because if you go down this road or if you go down this road, you don't understand. <laughs> My God. You don't understand that you really need to marry. It's not, you don't understand that it's not about diet. It's about getting the bad out and getting the good in. It's about building. It's about detoxing. Eating foods from the earth, whether they're vegetables, whether they are animal products, we need them in our body. And it's so important that you don't get pigeonholed into a diet like I did, okay? Don't pigeonhole your diet expand your diet, understand diet as foundation, understand the beauty that is in both of these books and the truth that is in both of these books. And it's an umbrella to give you an idea that whether you're doing a raw vegan diet or whether you're doing a carnivore diet, whether you're doing paleo, keto, or anything in between, is that we're looking to get rid of the bad, put in the good, we're looking to detox, we're looking to build up our, our microbiome and our nutrients, phytonutrients and all of our minerals and all of our vitamins. We're looking to build up our amino acid profile. We are really looking to build our body, to detox our body, to heal. I think that if you read both of those books and you committed to following both of them, you would start to understand the overall principles of diet that are really important in healing. Okay, I'm going to move tracks on you. Okay, I could have picked any book, okay? I could have picked Healing Back Pain by John Sarno. I could have picked, there's so many TMS books that I could have picked, but I definitely wanted to include a TMS book. Um, really, it's not even about TMS. Take the word TMS out of it. A mind-body approach to healing really is what we're after. I like, this is a mammoth book and that's why I picked it. I've reviewed this book. If you haven't seen that video, you can go look at it. What I like about this book by Steve Ozanich is that he's not just talking about pain right? He's talking about all diseases, okay? He's talking about back pain. He's talking about migraines. He's talking about stomach problems. He's talking about arthritis. He's talking about chronic fatigue. He's talking about fibromyalgia. He's talking about all the symptoms. He doesn't know it in this book, but he's talking about cancer. He's talking about MS. He's talking about Parkinson's. He is talking about everything, okay? He's talking about the gamut in here, and that's what I like about this book. It's that when we take a mind-body approach to healing, we can get beneath the symptoms and get to understand what's really going on. Our body is talking to us. Our body is communicating with us. And this book starts to show us that we need to focus on our emotions. We can't suppress trauma, emotions, feelings, right? I could have picked any book. I could think about trauma, but I chose to pick this book because I think it kind of encompasses it all without even knowing to or meaning it. This book focuses a lot on TMS healing. One way that you can heal through the mind-body syndrome healing, right? Uh, John, um, John Sarno pioneered it 
and he's got lots of great books. But I like this book because it really shows our personality. When we're people pleasers, when we're perfectionistic, when we overdo it, when we suppress, we get sick. And that's with anything. And so even this book, even though this book is focusing on pain and physical symptoms, I like it for anything because it shows us the way, it shows us the, the path to healing is within, okay? That it's not about diet in the end. It's not about the diet. That is just giving your body the raw materials to work with. It is about the inner work. And from the inner work, you can work on everything. You can heal trauma. You can begin to love yourself. You can begin to really focus on uncovering all those emotions that you have suppressed and repressed and you don't want to deal, but your body is keeping score and your body is trying to tell you. And so when you need to heal, you need to heal everything and you need to do the inner work. And so I like including a book on TMS because they understand that it's not about what you do physically. It's what you do emotionally that matters, that really heals a person from the inside out. So I hope that you will check this book out. Okay, so that was number three. And now I'm gonna move on to number four. The fourth book that I want to include is a book by Hal Elrod. And I don't even have a physical copy of this book. I probably have read this book a thousand times and I don't even have a physical copy of it. But I actually have the uh, audible version of his book. Anyways, it is called The Miracle Equation. And the reason why I love this book and that I suggest it as an umbrella to healing is because it really focuses on mindset. What does it take to do something, to create a miracle. And I know that when we're healing, we're all looking to create miracles. So rather than just waiting for our miracle to come to us or our healing to come to us, how can we create our own miracle? And the thing that I love about this book is it really takes into the mindset that you need to have in order to heal. Healing doesn't just come to you because you want it because you pray for it, because you beg, because you obsess about it. Healing comes when you make it happen. So there's a mindset, the he calls it the miracle mindset, so that you can have this miracle equation, this miracle happen to you. And I love this book because it shows you exactly the healing mindset that you need to have. Okay, so he takes something that is improbable to probable to inevitable. That's what we want, something that seems totally impossible, like we cannot heal from this, we're incurable, we can't do it, to how we get there, right? And then it's totally inevitable that we're gonna do it through this equation. One of the things I love about his book is that it's simple and it all boils down to having a couple of things and the things that stick stuck with me from this book is that he requires you to have unwavering faith and then put in extraordinary effort, okay? So you must make a commitment to yourself if you wanna heal. And that's one of the things that you're gonna learn on this healing journey as you go along. But I love this book and I think it's important because it could have been any book, again, it could have been any book that teaches us the mindset to creating the future that we want, to creating what we want. But I love this again because it's simple, okay? Yeah, you, you're committed to something you want, you say what you want, you claim it, and then you have unwavering faith in yourself, in your ability to get it, you have to believe. And he spends a lot of chapters talking about this unwavering faith, talking about what it takes to believe, because the psychology that you must believe it before you achieve it is so important. And it comes down to this with health too. You have to believe that you can do it, that you have everything that you need to heal inside. So this unwavering faith is really a belief in yourself, okay? And then extraordinary, extraordinary commitment. Um, you have to put in this extraordinary effort is what he talks about. This isn't like you have to go climb Mount Everest or you have to go see that monk or you have to do all these protocols and you have to spend all this money in order to heal. That isn't even what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the everyday commitment, the over and over, 
the little things that add up over time. You say you're gonna do something, you set your course, you believe in it, and then you have to follow through. It's the follow through, right? This, that is the extraordinary effort, is that you follow through over time and it builds up. This is extraordinary effort to do something day in and day out until it becomes inevitable, until you reach your goal. You don't stop short of your goal, you do it until. And this is what he calls the miracle equation because that's how you create miracles, right? You say what you want, you believe that you can do it in what you want. And then you put in the action that it takes to get there. Not, not just for 30 days, not for 90 days, not for a year, until you get what you want. You keep going until until the miracle is yours. And that's why I love that book and I wish I could hold it up, but I love the audio version. And in fact, I would get the audio version of all these books if you can, and you should do them on your daily walks. You should do them while you're out in nature. You should really um, listen over and over, you know, when that monkey mind is kicking up, when you're trying to fall asleep. These are good times to review these books and really understand what it takes to heal yourself. All right, number five. Okay, so I was just scanning some of, some books here that I was scanning. Some of my favorites. Just trying to think of. I re-looked through my bookshelf. I re-looked through my Audible, and I'm finding it so hard to choose the last one. I want to choose a book in the vein of When the Body Says No by Gabor Mate, or The Biology of Belief like Bruce Lipton, or even um, I like the book The Anatomy of Spirit by Carolyn Miss, or Letting Go by David R. Hawkins. These are some of my favorites. Um, where we really need to start looking at the spiritual path to healing, right? about healing and undoing our trauma. I really think it's important to have an umbrella book that teaches us how to undo trauma. So the book or the books that I'm gonna choose are, you can read either. You can read either. I'm just gonna grab a copy of. Um, Rather than go through all these amazing authors who talk about how to heal trauma, I want to take you to some trauma survivors themselves. So this is one of my favorite books, The Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And the other one I have on Audible, which is um, called The Choice. And that one is by Edith and Eva Ager, I think. Edith Ager. You can look that up and it's the choice. And they're both Holocaust survivors and they both have an amazing story. So it almost doesn't matter which one you read, but my fifth book is reading a trauma survivor, right? Somebody who survived the Holocaust, who had to go through something more difficult, who understands what trauma feels like and who understands how bad it hurts and how much suffering a human being can take. And that it really comes down to choosing what we feel on the inside, what we think on the inside, how we can find meaning in what we're going through and how we always have a choice. And so it doesn't matter which book you read of those, but I think within my umbrella of healing books, you should read one of these books, either Man Search for for a Meaning by Viktor Frankl or The Choice by Edith uh, Eager, Eager, E-A-G-E-R. And yeah, that will put things into perspective. Often bad things happen to good people and that's part of the healing journey is to learn that. It's like you didn't do anything wrong, but here you are and how are you going to survive this and what meaning are you going to attach to it and what choices are you going to make and those kinds of things are within your power. So rather than go through all the books about healing trauma and undoing trauma and and everything else that we need to do, you know, like Letting Go by David R. Hawkins or The Biology of Belief or When the Body Says No or any of these spiritual books. Just go right to these books on the Holocaust and you'll see it in the pages and you'll understand. And when you get to the end of the book, you'll, you'll, you'll get it on a deeper level and you'll know what you need to do. 
So these are my top five books that if I had to start over again <clears throat> and I needed an overall path for healing and I wondered how I was going to get there and what books were going to be meaningful enough to make me shift and change and grow and going to be helpful enough to help me heal if I could only have five books. I would choose these five books and I'm going to give you a bonus. So if you've stayed to the end of the video, then you're lucky because I'm going to give you one more bonus. And again, this choice surprised me. All my choices are surprising me today. So it's interesting because I have read so many books and so many books on the actual protocols to healing. And those aren't the books that I'm giving you here. So it's interesting to me and it's surprising and not surprising all at the same time. So my bonus book for you is called Dying to Be Me by Anita Morgiani, M-O-O-R-G-A-N-I. And I love Anita because she has in such a unique, interesting story, um, dying, crossing over to the other side with terminal cancer and coming back healing completely and telling you the lessons that she heard and that she learned that she learned why was she sick and why did she heal and what do we need to do to heal and it all really comes down to love to love to to self-love right and to letting go of a lot of the things that don't matter in our lives and choosing to love ourselves to love who we are to love our life, and to choose joy. Um, the book Dying to Be Me chooses and focuses happiness and joy over fear. Right? Love over fear. Joy over worry. And when you read her book, and if you've ever seen her story, it's just an amazing story, and she's a beautiful human being. And I didn't know I was going to put this book in there, but I think it's a great bonus book. Because although it's a random miracle and it doesn't help you recreate it in any way, the message that she's giving you is universal and overarching and you definitely need this message to heal. Will help you heal. Even though you cannot recreate her miracle. So I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that you will read all of these books. And again, if reading is a problem for you, if it hurts your eyes, if you're in too much pain, if whatever's happening, then download them on Audible. Remember, this is how you're going to heal. This is kind of what my program in, 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 in capsules. It goes through everything, right? All the way from the physical and the diet and the detox protocols and all of the stuff right into mind-body healing and how to heal trauma and of course um, unconditional self-love and acceptance. So all of it's here in these book recommendations even though they might seem a little bit odd and I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that you will read them all and I hope that you will understand that this, all of these books, if you could only read five books over and over and over to heal yourself, the information is here and you will heal if you read these books and you follow the lessons and you really, you follow the deeper messages that these books are telling you because the healing information that you're looking for is in them, right? They're handing it to you. So I hope it's been helpful and I will see you in the next video.